Lots of people know that pollination is important, but what exactly is pollination and why is it so important? Here's a cross section of a flower. A flower is made of many parts, but to explain pollination I only need to talk about a few. Flowers produce pollen which contains the male reproductive cells of the plant, and this pollen is held on the anther. The goal of the flower is to get the pollen from the anther to the stigma. This is pollination. The movement of pollen from the anther to the stigma. Now, if the pollen moves from the anther to the stigma on the same flower, this is known as self-pollination. If the pollen is transferred to the stigma of a flower on a different plant of the same species, this is known as cross-pollination. So that's it, that's pollination, the transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma. But why is this so important? Well, once the pollen has reached the stigma, it sends a pollen tube down the style and eventually it reaches the ovary. And inside the ovary, there are the ovules. When a pollen tube reaches an ovule, that ovule becomes fertilised and that ovule can then turn into a seed. And under the right conditions, that seed can turn into a new plant. This allows plants to reproduce. The reproduction of plants is super important because plants serve many, many functions. For example, they remove carbon dioxide from the air and produce oxygen. They stabilise soils and they can reduce the impact of flooding. They also provide a source of food for many different animals. Animals such as caterpillars, snails and even humans eat the green foliage of plants. But plants also produce fruits. When the ovules in a flower are fertilised, the ovary swells up around it to protect the seeds and also to help the seeds disperse. These fruits can often be very tasty and very nutritious. Many animals eat these fruits and in doing so can disperse the seeds. Humans also benefit greatly from the fruits of plants, harvesting huge quantities of fruits such as strawberries, blueberries, peas, all to provide healthy and nutritious meals. Plants don't only benefit animals that feed on them directly though. There are many animals that eat the animals that eat the plants. And then there are many animals in turn that eat those animals, forming a really complex food web, of which plants are at the foundation. So without plants and without pollination, that entire ecosystem and that entire food web would collapse. Bright petals help attract bumblebees to the flowers, where they are rewarded with an energy-rich nectar from the nectary. This helps fuel the bumblebees' flight from flower to flower, where they collect pollen, which is held prominently on the filaments. This pollen is returned to the nest, where the bumblebee then feeds it to its young larvae. Not all of the pollen makes it back to the nest though. Some of the pollen stuck on the long hairs of the bumblebees fall off when they are visiting other flowers, and can sometimes fall onto the stigma and therefore complete the process of pollination. For many plants, this process of insect pollination is the only way that they can reproduce, making bumblebees and other pollinating insects vital to the survival of the whole complex food web, one that directly affects us. If you want to find out more about bumblebees, you can head to our website, bumblebeeconservation.org, where you'll find loads of resources about pollination and many other topics for a whole range of age groups. You can also follow us on social media to keep up with the latest bumblebee news.